Today we're going to be replacing the spark plugs and changing uh, the coil system from a two coil system to a coil on plug system. Uh, the stock 4G63 only comes with uh, one coil per two cylinders. So now we're going to replace it so each cylinder has its own coil. First step is going to be to remove the cover and remove the, the OEM coils. And then we'll remove the spark plugs and then reverse. Alright, so David, what's first? First things first, take off the cover. Alright. That's gonna be the easiest part. <laughs> Did it break? No, I know where the other one is. What? Just use the screw guy. Ready? Okay. There you go. You know what? I'm gonna give you a hand. There you go. Oh. Go faster. I see the bottom of this. As you can see, the stock system only has two coils for the four cylinders, whereas the conversion kit is going to have one coil for each cylinder. Um, I picked up this do-it-yourself conversion kit online. It comes with a carbon fiber plate, four Denso coils from a Toyota, and all the wiring. And it's going to be a simple plug and play, and this should improve drivability. Right, we're going to be replacing the old NGKs with these new laser iridium NGKs. Uh, it's going to be the same part number, 5245. It's just time to replace it because as you can see, this one's already been uh, used and abused. It's time for a replacement. While we're in here changing the coils, might as well change spark plugs. I'm, us I'm using the OEM plugs just because I haven't modified my car enough to need to go one step colder. So that's what I'm going to throw in there. After you finish taking the spark plugs out, it's time to take a pizza break. Hey! Hey, yeah! Oh, that's so good. After your pizza break, uh, you want to put on the anti-seize lubricant on the spark plugs so that they don't seize up when you try to take them off the next time you do a spark plug change. When you apply the anti-seize, you want to make sure you spread it out nice and evenly on all the threads. Make sure there's no clump ups anywhere. And try not to apply it too close to the end because you don't want any of this to get into your cylinder. What do you think about all this? Easy. I think it's crazy. Oh. I guess it's not easy. Is it, David? That's alright. It's not as bad as the dash install. <laughs> <laughs> you'll find out about that. I later. guess you'll find out about the dash install in another episode. <sighs> <laughs> it's wrist tight. You don't want to make it too tight since it's all aluminum. You can damage it. And this is actually the best way to do it when you don't have a torque wrench. Now we're applying some dielectric grease to the coils uh, to make sure we have good electrical contact with the right coils. <laughs> Please. I can't get it in focus. Ah. God damn it. Now we're gonna do the final install. 
drop in. And gotta push it down, make sure it grabs onto each spark plug. It's broken thing. Do this finger tight so we don't break the carbon fiber. All right guys, so that wraps up this episode uh, on the Gripworks EVO 9. That's how you do a coil and plug conversion on a 4G63. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Uh, we would greatly appreciate that. Um, March 23rd, we'll be at Adams Motorsports Park. This car will be there along with the rest of the cars. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.